Hey guys, this is Eden. Uh, I'm gonna play this game called Night Team Four. It's like a military hacking, <laughs> called Military Hacking Division. It's actually a pretty cool game. I stumbled on Steam. Uh, it's like a hacking simulation game for cyber warfare, and it says realistic mission scenarios. And I've been looking like at this. It's really, really in depth and really good. It looks really good and <laughs> like real cyber security techniques and like real st stuff you'd see in, in real life so yeah i'm gonna try to play this game and just get i'm gonna <laughs> you can like watch me or something i don't know yeah so it's probably now i recently went to south korea for the cyber security tour and this Hive is the oh, network my. online channel zero zero nine three secure uplink initiated and I, I do know like computer science stuff, so I might skip over Hackers a lot of stuff. break into financial institutions, cell phone networks, and personal email accounts. In support of our military and our government. So we need successful strategy. We collectively have a long way to go. Build the intelligence capability this country needs for the decade out ahead. So we need an FTC to follow its statutory authority to protect consumers both online and off. The program uses facial recognition to constantly monitor citizens. The United States is aggressively tracking and deterring criminals and terrorists online. Stinger OS now active. You have to register. Right, go back. Hey. Kali Linux, this is trademarks and invention security. Why is Kali Linux there? Why is it actually using Kali Linux then? Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, anyway, Kali Linux is like an operating system made for offensive. Welcome, agent. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Welcome to boot camp, recruit. I'm Sergeant Wheeler, and I'm here to teach you all you'll need to know to become an elite member of our cyber warfare unit. Your recruitment officer told me you've got a decent head on your shoulders, and I'm here to find out whether or not that's an accurate assessment. I sure hope you don't disappoint. I sure not assessment. I sure hope you don't disappoint. We only take the best at night team four. Night stands for network intrusion and technical evaluation. Your task is to identify, infiltrate, and gather intelligence from computer systems used by enemies of the Black Watchmen. Governments are short on time and resources, so it's up to us to take action. We address imminent global threats that can't wait for bureaucracy. Because we're a covert organization operating outside the rules of engagement that govern our allies, intelligence agencies around the world seek our help. Before we cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war, you have some training to do. Ready for the challenge? Then let's lock in. That's pretty cool. Wow. Hey, look at this. It's like on my second display. They got like some wool out. I'm not looking at it. I just need to check if I'm recording still. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So this looks pretty good. There's some music's been loud, but like, and like cyber warfare is like real world like governments attacking each other so. select the stinger os basic certification in the panel on your left that will bring up an information screen on your right then click access certification to begin training good luck recruit oh yeah like like hackers and computer science tend to use a whole bunch of acronyms that probably get skipped over really quickly so os means operating system in this context i'm pretty sure this one meets. I'll, I'll get to that later. The operating system like Windows, Linux, etc. This one. This looks pretty good. Look at this. This is a high quality game. Ooh. The Stinger operating system is our own cyber warfare and network intrusion platform. It's a beautiful piece of software built by combining the most advanced open source hacking modules from civilian and military sources. If you've experienced any penetration testing platforms like Kali or Metasploit, you'll recognize similarities. Yeah, I've Zoning seen out before. already. Okay, I know most of you have the okay. attention span of a goldfish when it comes to basic training, but mastering this intrusion platform is key to becoming a lethal cyber warfare agent in the field. Ready to get started? 
let's familiarize ourselves with the Stinger OS menu. If this takes more than five minutes, I'll fire our user interface team. Only kidding, <laughs> it'll be easier to fire you. Less paperwork. Each certification is broken up into three stages, and your objective will automatically update as we progress. Click Initiate Phase 1 on your left panel, and I'll pass you over to one of our agents to take it from here. Dylan's trained many of our recruits, so you're in good hands. Yeah, so I've used Kali and Menace Plug before, just on like, as practice. Uh, but UI, I guess they worked really hard on UI, which is pretty cool. So let's get started. I might rush this if it's too hard. I mean, if it's, if I'm not going to explain anything. <laughs> okay. Com check, 1127. Hey, this is Agent Dylan. I'll be your wingman during training. Word of advice, it's always the know-it-alls who make the biggest mistakes. And we can't afford mistakes, so keep a level head. As Wheeler explained, you're starting basic and building up from there. Go to the information gathering menu on your left and launch the fingerprint module. Drag the window around a bit and uh, complete the test by typing the command help. Easy, right? Okay. Stinger OS is advanced hacking platform designed for cyber warfare. You have access to a complete suite of military grade hacking tools to this menu. Information gathering cool. module initiated. This module ex executes an array of attack strategies have identified the technology software sitting in the receiving end of the, the open port. Being print stuff, doing port scan, yep, port injects, probe, yep. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, if the installed technology and versions are present in the exploit database, it will flag as exploitable. Yeah, I know that. Approval for you print extra at the new streamline.co will identify types of technology behind for the active port for the sub domain. Yep. To do. Oh. Okay, I guess we're using this one. So you can't copy this. Okay. What do I do now? I think it's port scanning. I don't know what it means. That's a cool GUI. Can I complete? Oh, this must be an example. Drag like the window around. Oh, right. That's cool. I can just put this over here. Wait, these are windows? <gasps> Multiplayer co op feature is currently in beta. We have open world mis. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, so the multi multiplayer co op area. That's pretty cool. It's still in beta, so it's we're developing this. Okay, we're ready to back to it. Oh. Excellent! You can listen and follow basic orders. That's not as common as you'd imagine. The Stinger OS lets you access resources from other divisions within the Black Watchmen. Division 40 is in charge of IMINT, the Imagery Intelligence section, and MASINT, the Measurement and Signature Intelligence. They provide you with satellite feeds and drone coverage during operations. You can access these services at the bottom of your screen. Division 40 is the fourth icon from the left. Click it and enter the following coordinates. 38 latitude, minus 77 longitude. Once you activate the satellite, click the back to globe link to end your task. Yeah, got it. Drone and imagery intelligence active. Oh, that one. Oops. 
that's what it is. But yeah. Drone and imagery intelligence active. The light imagery. These are like all the stuff. Now we can choose data for this. Advanced tools. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's go into that. Oops. Nice! Oops, wait a minute. Okay. Makes more sense. Like before completing this, like I want to ch I want you to check out the agent's profile. It's the top left. You know, let's change your avatar and shit so okay. Completing the certification, I want you to check out your agent profile. It's at the top left of your Stinger OS. Change your avatar and return here to finish this certification. Change it. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, look at these. These look nice. You think it pops out? Uh, what the heck is that? Is that okay? Okay. Oh, it looks like. Uh, that looks pretty good. I normally go with like a shield or something, but not those. Let's go down. Nice! Before completing the certificate. Ooh, yes. OSINT. OSINT means uh, open source intelligence. I did that recently. I'm impressed. Agent Dylan seems keen to train you. He must see some potential. All right, you've completed your first certification. You have another 29 left. You don't need to do it all, but if you are curious, you're welcome to dive in. Not all certifications are about command lines and typing text. Our work also involves other forms of investigation like digital forensics or signal intelligence. We'll learn them soon enough, but you have to master the command line first. It's a standard weapon and a valuable one. Some of this may already be familiar, but it never hurts to recap. Let's start with OSINT. Open source intelligence is the act of gathering intel from public data. Regardless of the nature of your target, there's a strong likelihood they've left a mark somewhere on the internet. Collecting all this public information lets you map a target's network infrastructure and identify its point of vulnerability. Your first certificate will focus on domain name reconnaissance. Domain names save us from having to memorize IP addresses. All we need to do is type in a domain name to retrieve a website or access a service. These domain names are managed by a domain name server, or DNS for short. That's great for us because we can extract data about our targets from these servers. Agent Dylan will show you how to find domain and subdomain names, even if the target didn't intend to make the information public. Right, I just noticed these real life references. So, OSINT, I've did with OSINT recently for like it's sort of like public data, so like your Facebook page or your Twitter page, anything that's open, open in in the in the internet, you can collect this data and you can collect this intelligence. Uh, domain names are something really unique. Uh, yeah, let's just explain it. But this has got some really cool. Cool stuff here. I'm just gonna check this out real quick. Go right here. No bite. This is like the real world. Um, what you'd read. So yeah, this is the. This, you can get the domain. The IP address from the domain name is in like command like dig. So you got real world stuff here, which is pretty cool. I've already seen this one. Let's go into the game. Man, I love this part. It's fun to see what you newbies are made of and separate the wheat from the chaff. Right, domain name reconnaissance. 
you'll need the DNS and vhost mapping module, which you'll find in the information gathering menu. The first command you've got to learn is the sfuzzer. sfuzzer launches a good old fashioned dictionary attack against the domain name, trying thousands of the most common subdomains used on the net. If you sfuzz a domain name like 194.com, the dictionary will first try the obvious www before moving on to other subdomains like mail, ftp, or extranet.194.com. Each time a domain name answers positively to an sfuzzer request, it will show as active. Since that's all automated, you just need to decide how long to run the dictionary attack. The longer you run it, the more words it tries, and the more potential access points you gain. Remember, the attack always starts with the most common words. 10 to 20 seconds is a good enough benchmark for easy targets. Well, what are you waiting for? You're the one who needs to get certified, not me. Open that DNS and vhost module and launch a 10 second dictionary attack on the domain name 1904.com. If you get stuck, follow the instructions on the terminal. Okay, here we go. DNS vhost mapping. Information gathering module initiated. Oops. So we just try a whole bunch of. Our time, 10 seconds. So this is the option. This is really cool. It uses the actual option syntax. The command line interface. We get the domains. Oh, what? No domain name. Did I write it down right, yeah, right, quickly? Nine time four dog. Yes, buzzer. That's wrong. Oh my god, cancel. Control C, comes up. I spent any tape time. Rip. Okay, here we go. I should actually get something this time. 194 www.9. Cool. Another way of finding domain names is through a search engine's database, like Google, Yahoo, Bing, and the likes. Ask Jeeves isn't as useful anymore. Sometimes a search engine will accidentally index a private subdomain because of an oversight, leaked reference, or careless third party. We're here to take advantage of that mistake. I want you to use the osintscan command on 194.com and specify a database to look through. To look through Google Database, you will type dash s google.com. To ask for the first 500 results in the search engine, you simply add dash d 500. So your final command will be osintscan dash s google.com dash d 500. If you get stuck, the instruction should help. I really thought with the instructions, which is really cool. Like, otherwise, people get stuck really easily. <laughs> Information gathering module okay. initiated. Nineteen uh, four dot com slash Google Cool. So we got some more code patch. Excellent work! You know what you have now? The expertise to quickly identify potential entry points in an enemy network. You have the keys to their house. Of course, once you're inside the house, you'll need a new strategy. There's one last trick to the OSN scan command. Sometimes, a server can host multiple domains. 
Though one domain could be protected, another could be vulnerable. IP addresses are unique numbers that identify internet servers, and if you search by IP, you'll find all domains and subdomains present on that server. This doesn't just locate entry points. It helps discover links between organizations, like a supplier or a sister company that shares the same server. Right, let's finish up. Execute an OS in scan on our IP address. 98.124. Cool, so... That's pretty interesting. But yeah, I've learned that recently. IP addresses can hold multiple DNS servers, or multiple domains. You see that? Information gathering module initiated. Wait, can we? Oh, I can move stuff to other screens. No way. What the heck? I never. What the heck? How do you even do that? Okay. Okay. This is. Alright. This is where the like, number pad comes in handy. Bing.com. Oops. I can cl click the up arrow to do the same. Um, get the previous command, like in Minecraft. Yes. Yes. So we got one IP address. Oh, uh, one DNS domain. Domain from the IP. Okay, Let's see what happens in 20 minutes. Uh, I'll continue in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>